hello. I didn't see you there. Come, follow me. Let me ask you a question. Should cooking be hard? No. Should cooking take a while? Yes. Should cooking be fun? Yes. This is cooking in your dressing gown. Hello and welcome to cooking in your dressing gown. Today we're making Bria. It's quite a peasant dish, but I care not. But first things first, before we start, we need brandy and lots of it. I suggest you consume about 15 glasses of brandy in the entire cooking process. Sorry, mate. Hey, where's your dressing now? Okay, I'll go and get it. to measure out 500 grains of strong white Briad flour and that's 2.175 coops for you Republicans out there. So now you have 500 grains of flour. Yay! Here's what I made earlier. Now into your bowl of flour you're going to need to put in some soup. need to add about a teaspoon of yeast. Yeast? Oh dear, it smells ghastly. <coughs> We're not putting that in anyway. Ugh, yucky. Probably won't need it. Now we're going to need to measure out 350 millilitres of a lovely lukewarm water. So once you've made a wonderful, eloquent ball such as this... Okay, so once you've made a lovely ball like this, it's time to start kneading. 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 Now, kneading is quite hard because it requires quite a bit of strength and effort. So the way I kneading is I simply go onto YouTube Type in Republicans and just hold it in my hand. It works every time. <laughs> we care about fact, not fiction. So welcome, let's give a welcome to Makaka here. Welcome to America and the real world of Virginia. You've cited Alaska's proximity to Russia as part of your foreign policy experience. What did you mean by that? Okay, so once it's been properly added and it looks a bit like this, you can pop it back in the bowl. And then leave it to rest for about an hour and a bit until it's completely doubled in size. So see you then.
So it's been an hour, and look, it hasn't risen at all. So don't worry, it'll still be splendid. So now we just need to lightly flower surface. Pour it out. And what you need to do is knock all the air out. So I suggest a very large karate top. While you do that, let's preheat the oven to 200 degrees or 220. So, what was it again? 100 and 200. 200, okay. Okay. Absolutely lovely. See you later. Now we're going to take it out the oven. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Oh, it's hot. Do it for me, do it for me. It's too hot. Oh, it's ghastly. Oh no. Look at it. Looks awful. Ha <laughs> ha 